Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match me. The ruler of Vermin, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. with the apothecary, sir. Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh, no. I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I had tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. I made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? Suppose there's naught else to be done but make for home. Mayhap I'll browse the shops before I leave. See if I can't find aught else to take back with me. What should I do? Well met. You're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. Well now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. What should I do? Hello again, sir. Did you want something? What? You'd do that? You'd get the medicine for me? Suppose there's no harm in that. 
If you're really sure. Oh, sir, I'd be most grateful. Seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And... Ah, you've returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Good. Then let us be on our way. Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermont. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claim. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, but they are not dealt with like
Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? It is uncertain. This one can... What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Or may have befallen it. Best we press on. I would fain aid. Good. Let us make for the capital. Is everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. 
Onward! It might await us on the road ahead. What's this? We're trapped! Fine! The Cyclops! To think we'd encounter one here of all places!
seem I misjudged you. I had taken you for another false arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the Sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. Tis your dis- Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. Goblins! What rotten luck! We need of your aid again, sir. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. Thank you. 
I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the Sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet, however. With your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion, and has my permission to remain in the capital. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? T'would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell.
You wish me to return? At once, Master. We met, sirs. You seem familiar somehow. Tis a happy twist of fate that. This rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it. Apparently, there is an illness we pawns can catch beyond the rift that makes us a danger to ourselves and others. Symptoms include an unruly attitude and overconfidence. And in the end, we turn our backs on our master and our duty. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens 
who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity, if your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you, Your Majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to cull an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen... You can count on me to fly to your aid in your... It will be an honor to serve... I have a knack for gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. Let us work together. A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. It is said there is an illness spores can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control, and in time will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. That sounds most unpleasant. 
I do hope we shall remain free of it. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently... And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblin. So regrettably, I cannot assist you, unless you were to procure a weapon yourself. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Methinks Roderick, he runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. We'll not find anything if we don't start looking. The rules at your leg. There's a worthy prize. If only twan't so far away. 
Oi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim, truly. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den. From the tell of it, their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold can compare to a fellow life, eh? There's something written here. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. Well met. You are come to Shakir's Inn, a place of respite for the weary traveller. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. There are worse things than turning in early, I must say. I can't tell you how I suffered at the hands of golems in that other world. I hope I shan't see another for some time. I have a feeling fortune shall favor us this day. Off we go, then. Feeling rested, I trust? stone to will allow us to travel vast distances in an instant we must save it for a time of dire need
by here. Trebo Mine is but a stone's throw from here. Then follow me. I'll lead the way. That's it. I've had enough. Clear off. And don't come back till you're ready to do business properly. But I've got the coin. I swear it. I simply just... Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin, all of it. Or I'll call the sentinels on you again. Are we clear? It is uncommon for a lad of his age to be unable to shop on his own. Mayhap we ought to lend him a hand, Master. Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other. For all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it, won't you? Good day, sir. This ladder can take us to new height. Welcome and well... That's... Don't think I for... Gotten your discount. Always a pleasure. Oh, tis you. You're a welcome sight. Forgive my boldness. But I've a small favor to ask of you. Would you be willing to lend me some gold? I swear you'll be repaid in full. Are you sure? Oh, many thanks. I shall... Not you again. I thought I made myself quite clear. Ah, but I've brought the gold this time. I assume that changes things. Oh, well, I, if you've got... Look, master, a treasure chest. My thanks. I finally have what I came for. And worry not, you'll have your coin back in good time, I promise you. He seems a young man of decent character. I believe his promise to repay you was a genuine one. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Trevo Mine is but a stone's throw from here. Pray, allow me to show you the way. On to the nearest location. The soldiers delivering freight were last espied near Vermin's eastern edge. That's not far from here. 
The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Not a foe in sight. A brief respite is naught to decry. Waltz, Buster! Shame I've no advantage against this bow. Are we all in the same boat? Let my magics grant you an elemental doom. My knowledge from other worlds tells me that a forgotten riftstone lies near here. Shall I lead the way? Pray, follow me. I know the way, so there's no chance of our getting lost. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. You truly are formidable, Arisen. We've earned ourselves a pat on the back. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind, different masters favour different pawns. One whom I serve preferred to have bistrons for allies. I'll be sure to keep that in mind.
shall fall. Send the boat's balance, which will fall to the ground. Man, victory is over the ship. Give me a risk. I shall see if this does not happen again. moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. Let my magic imbue your weapons with the fury of the elements. I see our goal has changed. I fall back, and I will heal you with my magic. Wait right there. Too fast for the likes of me! No time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. Ah! 
said I thank you for coming to our aid that was a tight spot you saved us from and what luck nary a scratch on the wares to show for it if your pack grows over full simply ask me to sell off your surplus items I'll have the gold for you in a trice Would you mind coming over here? Another statue. Oh, within me yearns to climb it. What say we mark it in our minds as a place of interest? I shan't let them fall. You've been danced in oil. You must steer clear of fire. Let my magic squad do an elemental move. Me surprised.
There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Let us press on with our next objective. Shall I lead you to the location nearest here, Arisen? Trevo Mine is but a stone's throw from here. This is generally used as a material. A different combinations of materials result in different... ...creations. All the preparation in the world can't ready us for every eventuality, you know. Aught can always go wrong. Every stumble or misstep can prove a valuable lesson. A shame to forget their location when we need them most. I grant you fire's blades. Use it well. You must wait! Parent upon my aid. Me, caught unawares.
Over here, if you please. There's aught to be found there. Can you not see it? We ought to take a closer look. to return at once, Master. I never imagined we'd find a cave here, of all places. I'm looking forward to finding out what dwells within. If any creature dares ambush us, I shall be ready for them. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. Here we go again. I don't suppose begging for a reprieve would get as far with one of its lot. You are in need of healing. Allow me. That was thrilling. I did not know I could feel so alive. Would seem I've some catching up to do. Huzzah! Get down here! Let us proceed to the next location. On to the nearest location. Trevo Mine is but a stone's throw from here. We are under attack! Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Oh, 
I'll get that for you. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? Oh, I can't wait to find out what's inside. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? Our respective abilities are unique as well. We must each of us own our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. Delighted to meet you. Especially. There's aught to be found there. Can you not see it? We ought to take a closer look. Follow me, if you would. Anything for you, Arisen. Off I go. Come, let me grant you wings. You are in need of healing. Allow me. You push right down. Raw 
grant you roaring flame. Overconfident in our abilities. It is a painful reminder that fortune will not always favor us. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my speciality. Pray, follow me. Oh, I should tell you, there's a forgotten rift stone nearby. I found it beyond the rift. Shall we go there now? I heard a rumor that this land was once a kingdom of beastrons. Fascinating. Indeed. Is there no getting through this door? As I recall, the location of another of our tasks is not far from here. We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. to catch your breath we meet again truth be told i was hoping we might would you care to stay and talk a moment i'm glad sit down won't you i'm rather fond of this place i never imagined a city could be like this so full of excitement so and how could i have in all my life i've hardly left the palace my mother is quite Oft did I long for a taste of normal life. Even my mother has always procured the things I covet for me, so to pick out an item and obtain it with my own hands held a certain appeal. Which reminds me, I owe you a debt. I fear I cannot repay the full sum all at once. I have rather little in the way of spending money. Pray, take this for now. You'll have more when next we meet. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. Thank you for indulging me. I, I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vern. There are worse things than turning in early, I must say. Good morrow, everyone. Off we go, then. I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vigor.
Well met. You are come. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality. In all Vernworth. Much obliged. 